This question is coming from a topic called matrices. We have this matrix M and matrix N. Find the inverse of MN. They are not asking us to find the inverse of M. And they are not asking us to find the inverse of N. They are asking us to find the inverse of the product of M and N. So the first step is to actually find this product. So to get to that, we say MN is equal to matrix M for 1, 3, 2, negative 5, 4. Times Z, matrix N, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2, 4, 6, like that. Multiplication of matrices requires to use the, the row which is the a row which is called row by column, meaning that this row must multiply this column to get the first term in the answer matrix. This same row must multiply the last column there to get the second term in the answer matrix. This will multiply this to get the term in this position for the answer matrix, and this same row will multiply that to get the last number in the answer matrix. So let's move in that direction. To do that, we can have 4 times 3 giving us 12. This 4 is multiplying that 3. This 1 will multiply this 1. You can see the direction. The first and the first. The second and the second. The third and the third. A row and a column. 1 times negative 1 giving out negative 1. 3 times negative 2 giving out negative 6. We have multiplied this row and the first column. This same row must multiply the last column that side. So we have 4 times negative 2 giving out negative 8. There must be space here. 1 times 4 giving out positive 4. 3 times 6 giving out positive 18. So we close the matrix. We come to this row because this row has multiplied the two columns. So we come to the last row. 2 times 3 giving out a 6. Negative 5 times negative 1 giving out a positive 5. 4 times negative 2 giving out a negative 8. This row and this column gives us that. We come to this row and the last column. 2 times negative 2 giving out a negative 4. Negative 5 times 4 giving out a negative 20. 4 times 6 giving out a positive 24. At this point, we have followed the, the rule of row by column. Now we have to add and also subtract where necessary. So this is the 12 minus 7. In this case, it will give us a 5 in this position. Negative 8 plus 4 plus 18 is going to give us, this is more like 10 plus 4, it will be a 14 because the 8 will just subtract 1 8 there, then 10 plus 4 will give out a 14. Then this position now, this is 11 minus 8 giving out a 3, then Negative 4, negative 20, giving out a negative 24, plus 24. This will come out as a 0. At this point, we have found the MN. Now, we are asked to find the inverse of MN. The formula for inverse of a matrix, MN, the inverse is denoted like that. This is going to be equal to 1 over determinant. This stands for determinant times the adjoint of M N adjoint A D J adjoint. So first of all, we find the determinant. Determinant, determinant, determinant of M N is going to be equal to product of the major diagonal minus product of the minor diagonal. I will explain that. So it's a product of the major minus 
product of the minor minor diagonal in this matrix here this matrix that we have found here there are two diagonals there is this one here and then there is also this one this is the major then this is the minor when we say product we mean multiplication so product of the major minus product of the minor so what we have here we have major diagonal we have 5 times 0 so 5 times 0 then minus product of the minor minor we have 14 times 3 that is the 3 times 1 4 this here is going to give us a 0 then minus 3 times 4 is 12 we write 2 we carry 1 3 times 1 is 3 plus that one is 4 so we have a 42 therefore a determinant of m n is going to be equal to negative 4 2 this is our determinant after getting the determinant now we substitute into the formula for inverse of a matrix in the formula we have m n to the power negative 1 which stands for inverse of a matrix this is going to be equal to 1 over 42 times adjoint of m n the adjoint of m n is a matrix what happens to the adjoint the zero comes to the position of five the five comes to the position of a zero so in the major diagonal you exchange you exchange the positions then in the minor diagonal you multiply by negative one or you change the signs in the minor diagonal there you change the positions here you multiply by a negative one so that the signs will change meaning this one becomes zero remember there is a minus there then uh, this one becomes a five then three times negative one becomes a negative three 14 times negative one becomes negative 14 this is the inverse matrix that we are looking for and this marks the end uh, of this that is the final answer we have, which we have found remember to subscribe and receive more of this so that we can be able to move together from this stage to stages to come forth